And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for our second Heimer Spotlight Night deck. We're going to be playing Dravenheimer. And of course, as you all know, we're over in Master's Rank now. Finally got there. This one's going to be basically like Ezreal um, Draven and not, not too much different from that. Basically, instead of playing Ezreal, we're playing Heimerdinger. <laughs> uh, that's that's really kind of about it. No Captain Farron in here. I, I feel like maybe I should have Captain Farron, but I, I also kind of think that like Heimerdinger can give us like enough top end by itself that I maybe don't need Captain Farron, and so I just was able to play you know some extra removal and extra lower cost cards instead. Uh, but we'll we'll see how that goes without playing um, Captain Farron. But yeah, you know, like it's. This one isn't too original, but we're trying to build competitive Heimerdinger decks for the Heimer Spotlight Night, and I think that this is, you know, probably going to be a very competitive Heimerdinger deck. So that's where we're going. Is it better than Draven Ezreal? I don't know. We'll have to see. Let's go ahead and play. Maybe not, but it's, you know, a very good Heimer deck for those y'all want to play Heimer. All right, so let's go play our five games over in Master's Rank. Let's have some fun. All right, Yasuo Malphite. I mean, these are all like just a bunch of stun cards. Maybe it's too many, but I love I love these with Tribeam and Probulator. Obviously, having like a, a Ravenous Flock would be nice. Do you think that that, that Aphelios Heimer deck is the best Heimer deck? Most likely. I believe it probably will be. I think that'll probably be our best deck for today. And, and um, before the stream, if I would have picked one deck to be the best timer deck, that's the deck I would have picked. Um, but we'll have to play these other two and see how they feel. And it, it did feel very good. Like lots of leaves for the guiltless. I'm gonna just keep on buffing up this improbulator. I don't want the improbulator to get denied. I'm considering like discarding House Spider, like House Spider and Guile. Let's draw one more card here first. Could maybe create the ignition to discard also. All right, there's Flock. So I guess if they use Pill Cascade to save it now, that then we can Flock afterwards. Where if I if I go sentry then flock and they use like pill cascade to save it then I kind of have nothing and and then these stun and kill all my stuff. Don't let the fluffy tails fool ya. Humanity is obsolete. Right, I want to make the, those ignitions. Is a leaf's only purpose to fall. Well, they didn't use Pill Cascade last time, so I'm hoping they don't have it this time. They could have Nopify, though, but hopefully not. I would prefer this to work. Okay. Two Yasos down. That's huge in a Yasuo deck. That is huge. So I'm still worried about them playing another Yasuo, so I'm keeping Thermogenic Beam available instead of playing the Draven and attacking, and I'm not attacking with the 5-1 into the 1-2. Probably don't have, like, a third Yasuo, right? Like, that's unlikely, but... <laughs> I want to say it's impossible. 
Okay, we've killed all three Yasos. Life will be a lot easier now. Daylight star will rule the skies. Hmm. Even Maybe not. Blinding daylight. I'm just gonna block with the five one. Because it dies. Um to the Solari Priestess. The party has arrived. System upgrade. That could be useful. The answer is here. Somewhere. Alright, those could be useful. At your sick. Alright, let's put the pressure on him. So I should have this 4-3... Yeah, that card. I should have that attacking last. Because that's what they want to block with the lifesteal unit. So I, sh I should have that attacking last. Or burn. Those are the only two options. Progress waits for no one. Ah, that's fine. I could... Nah, that's fine. I don't really want to just like throw these Mystic Shots away just being... Too, too aggressive when you know like we are a hybrid in our deck right like we're a control deck we don't have to be that aggressive it's never easy to drown out Targon but we're gonna try Cool. I have to buff this Heimerdinger up. It's <laughs> it's now at two. Scorched Earth. The strength of the sun and my faith are one. I guess so. Try to keep up. Evening glows. Not another step. Again, just don't need to keep using more resources than we have to. Wow, they really want to keep this thing alive. Must begin somewhere. They really want to keep that thing alive. Okay, we're gonna need some more card advantage. Gonna need some more card advantage. I like holding on to these these three mana cards because we could draw a Tribune and probably later. great. I kind of just got a bunch of removal with no way to end the game right now. I guess a Captain Farron would be nice. We have killed all their Yasuo's. And I guess I kind of have to kill this 4-3. This 
So that opens up both of these cards to being killed by Scorchers or Mystic Shant. I'm like, play both of these and... Level it up. Tri-beam! Watch and learn. They have more cards in hand than I do. We, we don't count Spinning Axe and this Ignition. I dare you. So the ignition makes a 1-1, one, one. that will level up Heimer. This is our first round with the Draven Heimer. Oh, but uh, I guess what what actual round is it? I don't know, we'll say at the beginning of the next one. Alright, so the two 1-1s one, are going to get... Um, stunned. Need to play another blocker because I don't want Draven, Ballistic Bot, or Heimer to block this Bay Blade Twirler. In case that's a removal spell for Heimerdinger, I'm going to go ahead and just play this Ignition right now. Join me if you want to live. Go grab a 2-2. Two -two. Um, if, you know, if they didn't have that, I, I was going to be going Sentry, Stun. Oh, Ritten Stars get a Champion. So we're going to be going and getting a Malphite, I suppose. Malphite that costs one less. It is a six, six mana Malphite. What are those other cards? Besides six mana Malphite. And fire! A two three. Two three to do some blocking. Right up. Would I trade Ballistic Bot for Fey Blade Twirler? I don't think so, honestly. I don't know. Ballistic Bot makes a 2-2 for me every round, but if they go, like, Malphite, and then keep it alive, and then stun all my stuff... Destiny awaits. I don't know. They obviously can't take 10, but they should have a bunch of stun cards, right? Because, like, they are Yasuo deck, so they will probably have more Concussive Palms and Steel Tempest and things like that.
What's up, Sparky? We're doing great today. We're playing Hybridinger decks and having a lot of success with Hybridinger so far. Don't love where this game's at. Because we know they have really powerful stuff in their hand. We know that they got a big Celestial. We know that they got a Malphite. So those two things not looking so great. Yeah, we're in Master's Rank right now. Yep. Monkey Idol, Monkey Idol, you cool, you cool. But we don't got any room for monkeys. Love the Sump Treasure Draw. Get to discard the Ignition. So, like, how big is Malphite? Malphite usually has 11 health, but it has plus 2, plus 2. That means it has 13 health. That's so much health. Whoa, Sanctuary Tank! Getting that re-sub in. Thank you so much, Sanctuary Tank. For the Tier 1 sub. I really appreciate that support. Thank you so much. Okay, Overwhelm. And Spell Shield. That honestly may just kill me here, right? Like, if they just have a stun, if they just attack with that have a stun card, that just kills me. So. Looks like they could do that. Looks like we're dead. Ooh. Oh wait, we are dead. Isn't 11 minus, oh, 11 minus three is eight, not seven. <laughs> okay, really a zero. So we saw there against Targon that I just really couldn't finish the game out. And we may have to have like a Captain Farron uh, to help us do that. Not sure exactly where I'd want to put the Captain Farron right now. If we put it in there, but... You know, like, this kind of matchup I don't really want Captain Farron against. I really haven't liked these Scorched Earths. It's hard to, like, damage stuff and then kill it after. I don't know. I don't really like them. Okay, so our last... We just lost this game with Aphelios Heimer, and I used a bunch of resources early on against the Dancing Droplet, and I think that that was a mistake. I think I shouldn't have used a bunch of resources on that, so. Um, that was, like, the best thing for... Like, I was hoping that they had that landmark for the Scorched Earth. That's what I was hoping. Okay, so you're saying that we could take out a spider? That's fine. I don't... Oh, gross. I was gonna say, it's it's really easy to protect from Thermogenic Beam. Yeah, I can see taking out a, a house spider. This house spider is definitely less valuable later on with having Heimer. I love, uh, yeah, I really like playing Ash decks. Ash is a really cool champion. Um, with these champion spotlights, I do just kind of do them. They are random, right? Like, we just kind of do a random number generator to see which champion that we're doing. 
Wow. Just can't <laughs> can't handle that much removal, I guess. They didn't like their things done. LeBlanc Ash. Speaking of Ash. Alright, good looking hand. So I took out one house spider to fit in a Captain Farron, right? Like we wanted to put a Captain Farron in here. Um, so now we're just playing two instead of three house spiders. And we got one Farron at the top end for these Targon decks whenever we need another finisher. Don't want to use Thermogenic Beam because that can be very useful against like Ash and stuff like that later. I would much prefer to use Static Shock on these things. Or House Spider. House Spider honestly works quite well. Mm. We need to save our spell mana. Can you improve perfection? Be nice to be improving the power of the Ballistic Bond. big. I'm considering just casting the Thermogenic Beam to try to kill it, and, you know, that would kill that thing through, you know, Troll Chain Elixir of Iron. Um, but no. kind of wish this was a House Spider. <laughs> I guess I'm just playing Draven. Could be maybe setting up Reckoning. I guess if I go Draven, uh, yeah, Reckoning could be kind of bad. I mean, their champions are pretty good thermo targets. Line up. The party has arrived. Oh wait, I meant to play Sentry. I'll Whoops. Yeah, I was, yeah, was kind of planning on playing Sentry. I don't think Culling Strike does anything else besides kill this. We can just go with that. <clears throat> I'll take a Thermogenic Beam. If you want to live. We take something. Keep their 5 plus power unit count down. We've definitely spent more mana than our opponent. Got a lot of cards over there still. Got a lot of cards over there. No troll chance, no elixir of irons. They're just kind of letting everything happen right now.
Action. System I don't, James. No. Just, just Legends of Runeterra. Alright, this thing can't even block anyway. I guess maybe I should have saved an, an additional mana and then th try to have Thermo for this. That thing. Stand and defend! I know a challenge when I see one. Alright, so I'm still taking six. Me having uh me having decimates. Okay, okay. They're down to two cards. Not very many cards. I like where we're at. Could be just holding like reckonings and and cooling strikes and stuff like that. Could just be more frostbite cards. Yep. No real reason to to, to just like play Heimer down. You know, like we have the decimates they could just hold on to and see what they do, but we had it fully under control. GG's. Okay, this is a good test. We're facing mirror-ish match. They're playing Draven Ezreal. So probably the better version. Probably. But maybe not. We'll see how good Heimer can do. I'm gonna go and mulligan the 5-1 because they... Uh, should be able to kill a 5-1 very easily. I don't like that Death Lotus draw. It doesn't really do very much in this matchup. They got a perfect hand for the mirror match so far, right? Ballistic Bot into Draven, perfect hand so far. Got an axe with your um, which I had a good hand too of House Spider into uh, House Spider into Draven. Oh, I should do this on the Bliss of Five. What am I doing? I should be on the Bliss of Five. I would definitely like that same card to discard some of these spinning axes. Let's do this. They had ten cards in hand, so if I would have just taken it, they couldn't actually create a spinning axe. Yeah, 
And that card is why I'm gonna look in the 5 1. Yeah, they're they're destroying us right now. Completely full hand. <laughs> they haven't played a card that's not in my deck. Also, they just had a better hand. They're still gonna burn this top card, right? Isn't that 10? Yeah. They not very careful. Not careful enough. Yeah, like they could have just played like this ravenous flock <clears throat> last round, and then you had an arachnoid sentry in their hand. My beautiful face. I have the best These scorched shirts look terrible. Man, our hand is bad. <laughs> I have like, I have nothing to even play with timer. Like a rummage would be like our best thing, right? Just get some new cards. Quite bad. Card draw. Nope. Basically, need anything with card draw. Hey, buddy, what you doing? So I could go whirling death, but if I go whirling death, then they go get excited. That's a nightmare. And you can't calling strike that because if you calling strike, they just spinning axe and just counter your calling strike. Calling strike also pretty bad in this matchup, except for against Ezreal. But even even then, like with these spinning axes. Kill off. What a card. So they had both the 4 3 that discards draws and rummage, and I am super jealous. Time for the money makers. I feel like if I would have used both spinning axes, they would have killed my Draven. Witness perfection, meat bags. Not on my way. I, mean, I, I can't even damage that thing. <laughs> to kill it with Scorch Earth. Man, this hand is horrendous. Yeah. Order, entropy, a never ending cycle. Our deck's never gonna look that bad again, I don't think. I think that's as bad as it can look. Three. We just had mono score shirts, so I, I don't think it's a rough matchup. Like if we have card filtering, also, you know, like if we had these cards, some treasures and rummages last game, we, you know, like our deck would have looked great, but we had nothing. I guess I keep calling strike because it killed, you know, kills Shivana. Let me just send it back though. You know, like they they played Static Shock, got to draw a card. You know, like they had a lot of things that drew cards. We had nothing. <clears throat> All right, let's get Draven. Thorn of the Rose. One of the rows is basically mini Draven. Create a Guile in hand. Guile is a good card to discard. Draw a new card. So 
Thorn of the Rose, basically Draven. Alright, Draven bot. Man, it's nice having card draw. I imagine we're just gonna get, you know, just you know, get killed by the Cythria combo eventually. You know, I imagine that's the fate that's awaiting us. But you never know. So the sharp sight test. Yeah, I also like Guile. I, I like that Thorn of the Rose card. Man, they picked that super fast. You know, that can't be good for me. T-Hex. Well, only four cards. Maybe they don't have Spectral Matron Cythria. It would be like a first. But maybe they don't have it. Now take us one of those scorched earths that we had all of last game. Hmm, nope. That's a Cythria. I'll take one of those scorched earths anytime. Scorch Earths for me. Dimensions don't determine themselves. True. Yeah, it's true. They can they can challenge, challenge, challenge three fearsomes, then hit me for twenty eight. So I could also just play high. Or I could play this progress day and then go grab another eight eight and play that other eight eight and hope to draw. Like because I think we need we need to draw some cards. Technically a 9-9. Need to find some Scorched Earths. So, of course, they still have a Cythria in hand. Because they hard cast one, put one in with the Spectral Matron. I think that they even have a spectral matron in hand because I think I think this is what they because we haven't seen what they got with the uh, I I think that I think they have another spectral matron in hand, and which in which case that we are you know like obviously really dead. 
Uh, but you know, like how they had the stalking shadows earlier, we haven't seen exactly what car was the stalking shadows, but from where it was, I think that was the matron. Yeah, there's just there's just no point in playing this out because we know that they just have another Cythria. Which I guess I guess that Cythria could be the other ephemeral card, but there's there's just no point in playing this out. So this is what losing feels like? Sucks. Alright, so even though we only went two and three with Dravenheimer, um I I felt pretty good about the deck, honestly. So, like, the first game that we lost was against the Targon deck where I just couldn't really finish the game, right? So we put the extra Captain Farron in there. And I think our deck looked better with having that copy of Captain Farron. Um, we were also kind of un unlucky with that uh, game also. You know, like, we really, really ran out of gas. And, you know, we had many turns in a row where it was just, um, you know, low-cost units or low-cost removal and, you know, no card draw or no, like, sec you know, like, we never drew, like, an another Heimer for a progress day or anything like that. But, so, you know, like, that was a long game. We ended up losing that one. But I think that if we would replay that, I would I'd feel pretty good, um, you know, having the Captain Farron in there and, and, you know, maybe a better draw or two. Uh, but then our other loss was the, the second loss was the Mirror Match, um, where my opponent had a lot better hand than I did for the Mirror Match, right? Like, they, like, I'm playing three Rummage. I mean, I'm kind of surprised by that, right? Like, I, I kind of felt like only a two rummage because we didn't see rummage too often. Um, but yeah, so like we had three rum, but yeah, no, no rummage, no sump dredger, no static shock, nor no tribeam and probulator, right? Like n none of those kind of cards, you know, no Captain Farron, and so we just, just kind of got stuck on cards um, again. So. And then, you know, the third one, like Cythria, I don't think we're beating Cythria too much with this kind of deck, but I don't, I don't think Draven Ezreal really beats Cythria either. Like, I think that Cythria decks just go too big for Noxus and PNC, and honestly, a lot of stuff. <laughs> you know, like, you kind of have to beat Cythria, but with aggro decks. Hey, it's really hard to beat that combo with the slow deck if they have a good hand, and, and you know, we saw my opponent have a good hand. Like, your, my, your hope is that they don't find, like, one of their pieces, like, they don't have Cythria or Matron. Come here. What are you doing? You're just... And they're looking at me. Okay, um, but yeah, like we saw, like we we did really well against Aurelia Zir. Yeah, so I think there's still some good stuff in here. I, it kind of felt like it was like too many Culling Strike and Scorch Earth for like some matchups, but then against Cythria, like we like Scorch Earth was the only card that we needed, so that's kind of weird. I don't know. You kind of need like your cards to line up in this kind of deck, right? I felt like we we just need more card draw than what we had. We the games that we were losing. Besides the Cythria one, the games that were besides that one, the other two games that we lost were really just because we just didn't have the resources that we needed, um, and so maybe maybe that's like another Static Shock. They can just be another way to like deal damage and draw a card and like really enable uh, Scorched Earth better. Um, and so I guess that could be over the Thorn of the Rose. Play like two Static Shock, no Thorn of the Rose, um, or the Death Lotus. The Death Lotus actually didn't look good. So actually, yeah, that's what I would do. I would I would get rid of Death Lotus and get a sec second Static Shock in here. Yeah, there we go. That kind of fixes a lot of problems that we had. Yeah, that, that actually does fix a lot of problems that we had. All right, so there we go. That's Draven Heimer. Uh, those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there. And, of course, leave those comments. Let me know what you think of this deck for a uh, viable Heimer Dinger deck. Um, I think that we made some better improvements there with the deck i think just like these adding in these two cards the static shock this captain farron could have really helped with some of those losses and you know maybe that um you know two three you know could have definitely been a three two if we win that targon matchup which was definitely winnable all right anyway that's going to be it here for this deck so thank you so much for watching and i'll see you for the next video